Do you know much about carpenter bees? Did you know carpenter bees are one of the few bees that have a strong enough jaw to chew into solid wood? Did you ever wonder what's on the inside of a carpenter bee nest? So carpenter bees are really fun to watch out in the backyard. I watched this one a couple weeks ago down in southern Utah on a neighbor's penstemon. They're just so big and bumbly, but they're also graceful. I really love the shininess of their abdomens. So in the West, carpenter bees are mostly black, but in the East, they're black with kind of like a blonde sweater on. The females and the males both have this blonde thorax. So you can watch carpenter bees foraging around flowers. You'll notice them because they're some of the biggest bees in North America. Most carpenter bees in the desert Southwest nest in dried yucca stalks or dried agave stalks. They actually chew through that harder outside of the stalk into the pithy center, and then they'll just make a long linear series of nest cells. They'll separate out these individual nest cells with sawdust from the stuff they chewed up. In the middle here, we have a carpenter bee pupa. On the sides, we have fly pupae from a parasitic fly that has parasitized this nest. But not all carpenter bees nest in yucca stalks. You'll see a lot of carpenter bees around your deck or around your eaves, even in telephone posts. So what do these nests look like? Well, inside that nest entrance, they'll make a lot of different tunnels. Instead of just one linear series of nest cells like in a yucca stalk, there are several different branching off tunnels. Usually they'll chew in perpendicular to the wood grain. This one is actually using an old screw hole to get started. Then they chew with the wood grain so it's a little bit easier for them. And they make different tunnels going off in different directions. They can use this for multiple years. Also, multiple females can be using the same nest entrance like you can see here. So it's interesting because studies show that when multiple females share a nest entrance, they actually are less productive than when they nest by themselves. But regardless, each female partitions her own nest cells. She collects pollen and nectar uh, for her own offspring. You can sometimes also find males hanging out in the nests. The males of many species, like carpenter bees, have white faces, and this one actually has these nice green eyes, which is really cool. This male probably just emerged and he's hanging out, ready to get out and find some new females to mate with. Males don't participate in nest building, but they sometimes will be territorial and guard the nest entrances, so you'll see them hovering in certain areas. Usually they're guarding a nest. So in this species, the female is all black, but the male, as you can see here, has that light thorax and the lighter face. People sometimes worry about carpenter bees damaging their decks or their eaves, and they can do some extensive renovation inside there, especially if they're nesting year after year. But if you plug up the nest entrance, that can reduce some of this. But I'm more about watching the bees than stopping them from nesting in my yard. And like I said, carpenter bees are really fun to watch. Oh, yeah.